Hello and welcome back to Desert DIY. Today I have a very short DIY for you where I'm going to make the stacked stamped books. So the first thing that you're going to do is get some books. I got mine from Dollar Tree, but you can do thrifted books as well. Dollar Tree was the cheapest I could find. You're just going to rip off the front and the back and in doing that you're also going to be ripping off the spine at the same time. You need to figure out which side of the book is going to be facing up and once you do you're going to look through the front of that book and find a page that is fairly blank. If you can't find a blank page you can always paint this part of the book. Here's my stack of five. First thing we're going to do after the cover has been taken off is paint the spine of the book. So since I have a nice blank uh, front page there I don't need to paint that front page. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the spine of the book right now. And the paint that I'm using is chalk paint from Waverly, but you do not have to use chalk paint from Waverly. You can use any kind of craft paint in any color you want your book stack to be. Generally speaking though, they are usually like an antique white color. So I liked this ivory color from Waverly and Waverly chalk paints are pretty good quality and they cover really well on their first um, coat with things like this. So that is why I chose this brand. And you can pick this brand up from Walmart. I don't think you can get it online. It's in store only. So for the aging technique, I'm going to use Waverly again. This color is called Hazelnut. And to apply this, I'm going to just use a flat uh, tipped foam paintbrush and like, a, like you would use for stenciling. And I'm just going to water down the paint a little bit and use that on the edges of the book so that it appears to be kind of old or tea stained or something along those lines. It just gives definition between the two books when you stack them. So I just repeat that process on all five of my books and you would do this for every book that is going to be in your stack. If you accidentally put on too much, you just use your finger to spread it around and thin out that color. Now it's time to stamp. So this stamp set I got from Michaels and I will link it in the description box down below. But it's the cheapest stamp pad and I got the stamps that look like the typewriter font of stamps. And you can always use your Michaels coupon too to get it even cheaper and I bought mine online and had it shipped. When you do your words you're always going to start with the last letter of the word and work your way to the first letter of the word. That way your spacing is perfect and you didn't misalign your word towards the end of the book. Now we're going to put the books together in the stack and I use super glue. I got this super glue from Starbond online. I'll link that down below for you as well if you want to try that same super glue. But you could either use a ribbon or a twine or both. And I'm going to do both just so that I can show you guys how either one of these can look really cute. So I just cut it to size roughly here so that way I'm not working with the roll and the roll's getting in the way. Then I flip it upside down and attach it upside down. You don't want to see those edges. And I just super glued it and then overlapped it. Now we're going to do the twine. I like to stand the books up in order to tie the twine. I just measure it out first and then I wrap it pretty and tie it really tight so those books don't move around. The last thing I'm going to do is attach some greenery to the top. Now you could stop already once you've tied the books together if you don't want to add any greenery to the top. I personally just wanted to show you guys a few different ways to do it just so that you have a more full idea of how to do these stacked stamped books. And that is seriously just this easy. I just stuffed it under the, the twine that I have there and then took my super glue and dripped it over the top of everything all together and let that dry and it all stayed together really nicely. That is all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you liked what you saw, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.